Scorpio. What's going on, Scorpio? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope you are doing well, and I hope that this reading finds you safe. All right, welcome to Thirsty Thursday, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you for this week. Hmm. All right, what's going on with this heartbreak? I feel like you're transmuting um, your heartbreak and monetizing it in a way, like you're starting to put a lot of work into finances or you're starting to see finances coming in from some work that you're putting in. But I feel like you're walking away from something. Maybe it was a lot of conflict going on. You're going towards a gift, going towards something that's destined for you. Okay. You've been waiting for this. The six of sep I mean the three of scepters. You've been in a patiently waiting type energy, but something about to happen quickly now with the pyramid card. So that's good. Let's see. Mm. You're about to get justice that you haven't seen. Hmm. Something behind the scenes that's going on. I don't know if somebody's about to go to prison or go to jail. Maybe this person that was giving you a hard time, the reason why you had to move away from a situation, why you received this heartbreak. You might be um, getting in contact with a lawyer or a defense attorney. Is it? Is that what it's called? A prosecute? No. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, three of swords again. What did this person do? I'm not sure. Because the eight of swords can mean like all types of th stuff it could be theft stealing whatever it is somebody is really stressed out because they know they about to do some time i feel i feel like somebody about to do some jail time but let's keep going scorpio the temperance card oh this can mean anger frustration it can mean somebody needs to learn how to use self-control i don't know if this person did some type of domestic violence because that's the energy i'm feeling Somebody was in a domestic violence situation. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So we got the wheel. So the, the wheel is turning. The wheel is changing because of something that happened with the Three of Swords. It was time for you to come out of illusion. You didn't want to continue to be an illusion, Scorpio. And the universe was ready to close the cycle out. So the cycle is being closed. And now healing is happening with the star card. But I feel like whatever this energy was that tried to keep you in bound to the abuse, this person is now going to have to deal with time. They're going to have to go and spend some time. Okay, so let's see. What's the will? Yeah, see. You moved away, and once you moved away, it allowed the universe to be able to make things happen. So I don't know if you actually was trying to prosecute this person. Like, you want to go, uh, you tried to get some legal action towards them once you moved away, but... I feel like spiritually you got justice for the situation because I feel like this person is now feeling the pain that they gave you. But even though even if it was physical, they can't physically feel the pain that they gave you, but they can feel it emotionally or internally. What's this three of swords? Okay. The King of Scarabs. We got the Empress Moot. The Queen of Scarabs. Judgment. Two of Scarabs. Bass. The Warrior of Scepters came out reverse. And the Three of Scarabs. This was a lot of finance and money. This was about money, basically. Somebody did something for money. They probably stole from you. You know, not only did they physically abuse you, mentally abuse you, they probably took some type of money from you. I don't know if it was a mother energy or if you're just the empress and you're the one that's the hard worker. You're the one that brings in the finances, the abundance. And because of that fact, you got to take somebody to court. Like I said, judgment. 
whoever you take in the court, this person don't have much with the two of scarabs. They juggle back and forth. They probably were juggling you. That's probably one of the reasons why you wanted to end the situation. It could have been a husband because the king of scarabs is the queen of scarabs soulmate or um, divine connection. It don't have to be a divine connection. It could just been you guys were partners with it when it came to money. But I feel like you're highly protected at this moment. Don't go anywhere too fast. Continue to just keep your energies to yourself. Don't be hasty um, when it comes to working with others right now because it's very um, cloudy. There's a lot of illusions that's going on. So it's better for you to kind of stay to yourself at this moment. What's the Seven of Cups? Yeah. Okay. I think you're going through a transformation because Napu is here and the Six of Unks. This is like reminiscent energy and then Sekhmet. So maybe you're going into your mind's eye and reminiscing about childhood trauma that you dealt with. And it's kind of like once you deal with that, you can start to see why situations happened in your adulthood. So I feel like yeah, as you're going through this transformation, Sekhmet is giving you the strength and the valor to push through this reminiscing energy. Because this is a lot of dreamy energy right here that I'm getting off of here. So once that happens, once this transformation is done, once this death and rebirth happens, you'll be able to completely close out the cycle. And it'll be like you'll have a good standing, okay? So what's the um the world card? Mm, all these fall in my lap. Yeah. Describe the scepters. The three of unks and the eight of unks is in reverse. So it's almost like somebody feels like they need you to come back because they don't want you to walk away emotionally because now they feel in this pain. Like I said, they feel in the three of swords. They're feeling it. But this person needs to do what you did. And go through this healing because it was destined for you to go through this it was destined for them to go through it was destined for everybody to learn the lesson that's why we had the um the judgment card that came out so there's gonna be some new ideas that's about to come i would write them down because these new ideas could grow into something amazing what's the star card yeah you're gonna have a choice Right, six of scepters is gonna bring. Um, it could bring a lot of excitement into your life. This new endeavor that you're gonna go after. We got the queen of scepters in reverse, and the six and the two of scepters. Somebody doesn't want you. And now it didn't flipped upright, but what I feel is somebody don't want you to have the courage to push forward and to choose your path, but they forgot or they don't know that you got segment energy that's coming out here so you're going to defeat this bondage that somebody trying to put on you or trying to make it look like you you don't have the confidence to pull this off somebody trying to say that what's the devil card exactly gab so we got the world card coming out again it's over with they can't do nothing about it they cannot do anything about it Time for you to celebrate. I was feeling this energy, the three of them. It's time for you to celebrate. What's this eight of swords? Okay. So we got the eight of scarabs and the king of scepters. So, yeah. What I'm feeling is this, with this king of scepters coming out, because the king of scepters and queen of scepters is, like I said, they could be... Like the, like the king of scarabs and the queen of scarabs. And this is somebody who was either you were married to or you had some type of connection with this person. But this person, it might be a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Could have it in their chart, but they're going to be sentenced to have to put through, go through like a heavy labor. So this person might be having to work off or pay some type of due when it comes to the justice system for whatever it is that they did. So even if they don't do actual like time locked up, it could be that this person will have to do like community service or some of that nature. They're gonna 
I'm going to just say they're going to be punished for whatever it was that happened or occurred. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope y'all enjoyed it or got something from it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Until next time, talk to y'all later. Deuces.